and welcome to Check Your Freedom. My name is Tando Kaba and I'm very excited to be with you. This is the only show where Africa's brightest young minds and voices get together to discuss issues that matter to them. Today we're going to be talking about multi-party democracy. Before we get into our discussion with our amazing young Africans, check this short explainer out. What is democracy? A democracy is a system where people can choose their government officials and the rules that will govern them. The people choose their government by casting votes for the political party and its representatives that stand for what they believe in. What is a multi-party democracy? A multi-party democracy is a system where different political parties can run in national elections, where the party with the majority votes can govern either independently or in coalition. So, why is a multi-party system important? Remember to visit www.checkyourfreedom.tv to access our digital quiz. Now let's go meet our panelists to start discussing multi-party democracy. Is there a multi-party system in your country? Um, I'm Amira. Uh, I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. We do have a multi-party system. However, it's also a dominant party system. That being said, the ANC has led the country since liberation in 1994. And currently they hold eight out of nine of the provinces in South Africa. That say, although we are multi-party, we are also dominant party system. I'm Clement here from Ghana. According to the constitution of Ghana, it's explicitly clear that it's a multi-party democracy. Multi-party, yeah, Mozoka, sure. I think the last time that I checked, we have about 25 register, uh, registered political parties. Although it's a multi-party democracy, but we have this geopoly between the MDB and the EPC political party. What are the shortcomings of multi-party democracies? And if you look at a South African context, you know, depending on the number of seats you have, that's the amount of time you have that you can speak in parliament, you know, so certain parties will speak less than others, so their views are represented less, so it's not an equal system either. How can the youth get involved in advocating for the changes they want to see in governance? I am uh, Natavi Maria, the Dukoska. What we did to bring young people on board is sensitize them to register as voters and tell them that the power belongs to people if you have the power to vote. In South Africa, we have a very apathetic youth. Um, they don't really want to vote. They don't care about politics. And I always believe that we can combat that by introducing politics to students at the school level. I'm talking about where people teach, where the students are taught what politics are, where the students are taught how voting works, who the ICE is, who our parties are, what our parties stand for. Let's head over to the streets of Johannesburg and hear what young people have to say about multi-party democracy. Giving people more options to choose from could be good, but I feel it could be bad because a lot of the political parties don't live up to what they say. I think that it's good because it gives people options and it gives the government the ability to compete as well so that people know what to choose from and what's best for them. Sometimes the party they vote to don't really get what they expected, like they don't keep up to their promises or they do things but do it halfway. What an insightful discussion we've had here today about multi-party democracy. A very big thank you to our panelists from South Africa, Uganda and Ghana. You at home are one of us and we want to hear from you too. Our social media pages are on your screen right now. While you're online, remember to check out the very interactive Check Your Freedom digital quiz to share it with your friends and family. But from me, Tando, and Africa's brightest young minds, I will see you next time. Goodbye.